Okay, everyone, it is 9.35 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, September 16th, 2011. It is Friday. Friday! Okay, I haven't done one of these in quite some time, so please bear with me. I've done some thinking. Uh, those of you that, um, that like having your little blinders on, fine. Go away. Go away! Shoot! Shoot! Because... I'm not talking for you. I'm talking for my peeps, the ones that know that I'm nuts, but make know that I make sense every now and then. So if I hit a nerve, I apologize. I'm not a doctor. I can't fix that nerve. You're gonna have to fix it yourself. Anyway, I've been doing some thinking. I've been watching documentaries. I've also been watching some stand-up routines, uh, mostly because you know. Ever since for as long as, hold up, out of Pepsi, give me a second. It's the only thing I endorse is caffeine, and nicotine. Ah. My two vices. What the? Ah. Okay. Okay, I apologize. Let me adjust the camera so that my whole big fat head is in a frame. Okay. Now, I have a new subscriber. They know who they are. We've been friends for ages. So, welcome to the show. Um, love you, Chica. You know who you are. Um, I can't drink coffee. Coffee is a laxative and a very dangerous one for me, so it's Pepsi. But uh, anyway, for about as long as, as far back as I've researched and as I've pondered, um, you know, in in kingdoms, you know, you know, ballage, ballage, ballage. The fuck is a ballage? In villages, communities, towns, cities, burgs, countries, uh, regions, whatever you want to call it, little division of land or whatever, there's always been a leader, okay? Uh, for the sake of just not wanting to be like extremely specific, I'm just going to be extremely gen general, okay? King, queen, royalty, if you will, okay? For about as far back as I've researched, you know, you have the king, you have the queen, you have the princesses and the princes and the ladies in waiting and this and that and suitors and all this other shit, right? I don't know what the hierarchy is. I don't, you know, it's too confusing. Um, but basically, you have the leader of the community, the king, if you will. Um, and this, this is going to sound really weird, but... Uh, there's always been one person that was always allowed to tell the king the truth and he wouldn't get his head chopped off or shot or stabbed or whatever the you know the punishment was his lips chopped off whatever he was always allowed to tell the truth to the king kept the king humble kept him on the level that was the court jester, believe it or not, okay? Because the court jester would dress up looking like, you know, like he rolled out of his fucking uh, blankets and threw the first thing on that he could find. Lampshade, whatever. <coughs> the court jester would do all these little tricks or whatever, you know, entertain the masses or whatever, keep them entertained, but be telling the king, you know, hey, you know, so and so wants to pop a cap in our in our in our country's ass. You know what do you want to do, man? You know. Now, based on that, okay, we don't have court jesters anymore. What do we have in our society as Americans? That's right. We have stand-up comedians. They're popping up all over the place. Okay, some are retarded. Okay, some of them I watch and I'm like. I don't know. I don't know what your message is other than you you are the standard jester that's supposed to entertain the masses while the king is off doing whatever. <clears throat> the comedians that I like 
are the ones where you're not laughing because it's funny. You're laughing because the shit is true. It hits a nerve, and instead of getting mad at the guy, you're like, Oh, whoa, wow, really? I like the way you think. And you laugh because it hits something in your mind where you're like, you know, I should be mad at you for pointing this out to me because I should have known this all along, but you just reminded me of something. Okay? Bill Hicks, George Carlin, Doug Stanhope, although he's a little hard to... Is he, his way of, of doing it is a little different. I'm going to have to warm up to it. You've got Louis. Okay, Louis C.K. His birthday was a couple days ago. So, happy birthday, Louis. Louis. You rock, dude. Um, of course, I've always had a soft spot for redheads anyway. So, I mean, you know, I saw you saw you were redhead and I was like, oh, oh, oh. Had, you had my heart right away, because I'm liar. So, any who's all. Uh, Richard Pryor, may he rest in peace. Uh, Robin Williams. Robin Williams is like the quint quintessential court jester, because he will dance and sing and make you laugh, and, da -da -da -da, and he'll slip the truth on in there somewhere, and like the ones that aren't paying attention will catch it, but people like me will be like, hey, there's something there. Okay. Um, his role uh, when he uh, was uh, the lead in uh, Good Morning Vietnam as a prime example of, you know, he has this strength in his acting ability where he can be a goofball, but he can be serious too and give you a message, okay? And those are always my favorite kind of teachers in high school that knew how to make, the, you know, make us laugh, but made sure that we understood what the hell they were trying to teach us. So, with that in mind, you know, I've been known by a lot of my friends as the goofball. I like to ham it up, I like to have a good time, I like to make people laugh, and I like doing it sober. That way I remember. Um, there's times where I've had to take, you know, my beta blocker medicine for my blood pressure, and I get a little, <laughs> little loopy and stuff, and I make people laugh, you know, but I remember it. So, you know, I don't overindulge to the point where I don't remember shit. Except for the one time when I had to take a painkiller because my tooth that I was waiting on a root canal was like hurting like a son of a bitch. And so I took a Percocet and then forgot that I took it and drank a glass of wine. I don't remember that night after that point. Once it kicked in, I was gone. I had people telling me I was awesome and funny and everything and I didn't offend nobody, which, whew, relief. But, um, wow. Fire safe cigarettes. Who the hell needs a fire safe cigarette? Except maybe a pyromaniac with a nicotine addiction. I don't know. I think they're stupid. Anyway, you know, because I don't smoke in bed unless I'm sitting straight up. You know, that and I don't really look to see if I am smoking. Well, I'm not smoking right now. Although I, I just got out of the bath and my hair looks like shit. That's why I'm wearing the do-rag. Part two coming up. <laughs> yeah.